video if you're still following it from the time management um, challenge that we did a few weeks ago. How many of you still follow? Below that format of um, prioritization of tasks, doing time blocking. Some of you stopped. Okay. Um, so let me just hope that you've been following the tasks uh, well. Um, but uh, uh, generally, this is just an additional um, topic or a subtopic to the time management. and prioritization and it's all about uh, the last minute or so the, the deadline uh, when the deadline is approaching so you can start working on tasks. Uh, help to improve Activity and and reduce um, stress. How um, to like experience. is up approaching in things are not for the way you thought they would work and that should lead to like a poor quality of work and also your product Can you guys confirm that you can hear me well now? Okay, apologies for that. Um, can anyone help me share the slides? Because I'm using my phone now. It's on the career. Um, Does anyone have access to the slides? It's on the career uh, career content um, drive.
Thanks. Yeah, Dessa. Um, do you have the slides or just? Uh, I think he, we, we did not receive the folder still now. We only received uh, the document, the challenge document. Um, if you go to the drive where you're technical, okay. Um, I've shared the link. I'll check on that later, but I've shared the link here if you can just um, share it. Uh, this this link is not also for me. You can't view. Uh, no, it need to grant an access. Okay. Uh, can I just change that? Okay, um, I can't change the updates. Let me try and see if I can share my screen. Can you see the slides? Yes. You can see the slides. Yes, yes. Okay. Um, sorry about it. Uh, so basically, this was just a continuation of um, the procrastination time management challenge. And we talked about how it can lead to like reduced stress or anxiety and also poor quality of work. And that could ultimately affect your reputation. It could be in your work. Um, it could be in your work or office or even at an academy and some of the opportunities can be missed um, afterwards when you don't deliver quality work every time. So there's always this uh, vicious cycle of procrastination, which is you procrastinate a task and then afterwards you feel guilty about it and then you start to panic and then ultimately make excuses just to um, as to why you didn't do your work well or things like that and this can be avoided um, so some of the things that can lead to procrastination is things like fear of failure or you want to perfect your work so much or when you don't have motivation to do a certain type of work and also uh, if you have poor time management skills um, and also it can lead to like overwhelm and indecision. Um, it's also leads to, or it can also be caused by, if you don't have like a clear goal or direction that's um, for either your daily tasks or what you want to achieve during the week. Uh, for example, if you don't follow the, if you don't time block well and also schedule your tasks well and prioritize, you lack a clear goal or direction for how you're going to spend your day and that could lead to like procrastination and yeah so there's some of the ways that you can overcome procrastination at work 
um, the first thing you need to do is be realistic and understand uh, why you're a certain task. Like, why am I working for this company? Why am I doing all these challenges at an academy? What's the end goal for me? If you understand that concept well, it can help you bring some motivation on um, it can help you bring motivation on you actually completing your work. And the other thing is to apply the five minute rule, which is um, understanding. So the five minute rule is basically uh, setting different times, like after five minutes, um, what, what have you achieved? Um, yeah, what have you achieved and what are you looking forward to in the next like five minutes, etc. And then set up a reward or punishment system. So when I finish this, I can go play with my friends. When I don't do this, I have to spend an extra hour doing the same things. And it also helps when you get organized. This could be things like cleaning up your space, decluttering and making sure the environment you're working on is clean and is a, a conducive environment for you to actually focus and get your work done. The other thing is to ask for help. If, for example, you don't feel motivated enough to work today and you're procrastinating your tasks, you could always ask for help from either your friends to be like, do you want to study together or like, do you want to like um, do some other tasks together, etc., or just ask anyone or anything for help. Um, and then uh, manage your time effectively and also break bad habits. So I hope you understand if you have any bad uh, habits that could be uh, maybe playing games too much or uh, being online too much, um, it could also help to um, it could also help to, uh, yeah, it could also help to like reduce procrastination. Um, so there are, there, there are other ways to um, like solve procrastination and that could be um, using the cognitive behavioral solutions. So this is more like a psychological way of like trying to avoid procrastination and it's how we basically just talk to ourselves and our minds so to and also like changing our beliefs so the first step is to identify the different thoughts or beliefs that are going on in our head so it could be i think this task is challenging i don't think i'm good enough to do this ETC. So identify what kind of thoughts are in your mind. If they're negative self-talks, they're definitely going to influence you in a very negative way. Um, so after identifying the thoughts, try to like rephrase the thoughts well. So if you like, um, I don't think I understand this concept well, you can change your beliefs to, I don't understand it yet but I can cultivate a mindset that can allow me to um, understand uh, this concept well. Uh, so there are other things that you can try to, um, that you can try to think about. For example, I should, um, I probably will, or I think I could, um, yeah. So other things could be like, I shouldn't play uh, games too much. I shouldn't stare at my screen too much on um, maybe um, on TikTok or Instagram. And I hope to focus more on tasks that um, can help me become a better person. Or I'm going to try to such such ways in which we talk to ourselves. Um, so there are also more typical. Uh, so for people who do not procrastinate, they do, they always, their cognitive behaviors is always like, I will do this because I want to, I will learn. So for example, I am going to learn um, EDA 
because I want to pass my to an academic project or I will definitely make sure I understand this concept today. And I am very confident. So positively talking to yourself is also one of the ways that can cultivate a really great mindset and can help you not procrastinate. Uh, so yeah, that's that was the content we had today on procrastination. So I hope you guys have like um, access to the challenge document as well. Um, do, you, do you guys have a question on that? Okay, um, can you guys see my screen on the challenge document for procrastination? Just a reaction. Okay, um, so this week's task will be on uh, this understanding and defining a procrastination journey. So I'm sure everyone, each and every one of us has had a fair share of experience on procrastination. And this could be anywhere. It could be from personal work or just here at an academy. And um, so for the task this week, we were going to, so we've given you the challenge document. It just shows a brief description of what procrastination is. And there is an important article here on procrastination that uh, you can read through it. And then we just explained a little bit of why people procrastinate. And then um, we also have a topic on like the inside of a mind of procrastin a procrastinator. So there's this TED Talk link of someone who talks about uh, what goes inside the mind of a procrastinator. And this is one of those things that we might tend to ignore, but it's a bad habit that a lot of people go through it and you shouldn't feel about it, but you can try and find a way to like cultivate and improve and stop becoming a procrastinator. So if you go through, uh, also check out the, a uh, link shared and look at the video and then the task uh, the task will be based on the um, reflecting your own journey based on the uh, important factors that were talked about on the TED talk so we're hoping that this is going to like help you um, procrastinate in as much as you try so much to like organize your time well and um, plan your day, you, still, you can still try to procrastinate. And this could be just uh, from the environment around you. It could be from your mindset. It could be from different things that just make you procrastinate. So we have a look at that uh, video. Reflect about your own journey at the Academy. Think about in ways in which you've procrastinated and there's no penalty if you've procrastinated really. It's just a way to help you overcome uh, procrastination. So um, just follow the tasks uh, that have been listed there. So it's generally you reading the, uh, just listening to the video and then think about your own journey and then just um, document it and answer the tasks here. So you are supposed to write a reflective report, um, 10 slides, and it should just cover the following six questions. And that is um, the name of the specific task that of uh, something that you procrastinated on, um, how you felt while working on it last minute, and just general understanding uh, the reasons that trigger, that can trigger your procrastination. So it could be you're not in a conducive environment to like study. Um, 
it could be that you're feeling lost and it's just just think about everyone's journey is different uh it could also be that you have so much work that you can't keep up just think about your own journey and what um triggers your procrastination habits and just uh reflect through it and yeah so from this from the video you can also see ways in which you can cope after noticing your procrastination habits and you're just going to like uh yeah you're just going to reflect and write about it so yeah i hope that's clear and this is more like a psychological way of thinking about your daily habits and how you can like improve um yeah so it's really more like over reflective journey and sort of some therapy <laughs> um yeah but the whole goal is just for you to help um help yourself not procrastinate further and yeah if you procrastinate a lot you shouldn't feel bad about it um yeah any questions any questions so far okay i'm guessing everything is okay um once again, I really, I really apologize for my internet acting up today. Um, yeah, next time I'll try and do better. Uh, but thanks for joining today and have an amazing uh, day ahead or evening or afternoon. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to share, to contact me on Slack. And I hope everyone has access to both documents the slides and the uh, document. If you don't, please ping me on Slack and I'll grant you access. Thanks and have a good day.